Hey, this is Digital Byte Computing. We're gonna go through how to install Windows Server 2016 within VMware. So we're gonna be using vSphere. Uh, you can be doing this on vSphere version five or six or 6.5 or later, uh, but it's super easy. So you wanna go and get that ISO. We're gonna go through the steps on how to download a trial version if you don't have a 2016 ISO, but let's check back how to do it right after this. Okay, so I'm connected into vCenter right here. So this is via the vSphere um, C Sharp uh, GUI portal. And I want to now deploy my Windows Server 2016 ISO that I have downloaded. So this ISO, you can go ahead and download it for free from Microsoft quite easily opening up a web browser. So I can try Windows Server 2016 for free a full evaluation, you can go ahead and download it and it will let you use it for a certain amount of time. After that, you can then need to go and register it. But the good thing about using it within a vCenter or a vSphere environment is you can install it, run it for the 180 day trial, for example. Once that expires, you can then remove it, create a new ISO and do it all over again. So you can really have an unlimited installation of Windows Server you just, have, you just have to build a new instance every single time. So once you've downloaded the ISO, we can then go into our vCenter or into vSphere if, you're gonna, if you are connected directly to a host. And we're gonna right click and say new virtual machine. We are going to, we'll, we'll do it for this demonstration, we're just gonna do a typical install. Next, we're gonna call it Win 2016 demo. What data store am I going to put it into? So I've already got a data store configured. Now you'll find that the version that I've got, the latest one is going to show me 2012. This doesn't really matter which version you choose. So just choose the latest one for this demonstration. All that's going to do is set some defaults, right? That's all it's really going to do. So not a problem. Set your adapter, your, your network card, if you have multiple network cards, etc. if you wanna to add to that um, VM. How big do you want the disk to be? So this is the C drive, the default C drive. We're gonna say 80 gig for now. You can go and change that and extend it at a later time. And I wanna edit the VM once I'm finished and continue. So from within here, I can configure the amount of RAM I wanna give it, how many CPUs I wanna give it, and I can add other devices into here. I'm gonna leave the memory as default as four gig, and the CPU as default as well. Again, you can go in and configure this quite easily. You can add more RAM, you can add it to eight gig, you can add an extra CPU, you can add an extra core to your, um, VP, your CPU socket uh, if you need to but we're gonna leave that as default for the purpose of this demonstration, finish. So what this has now done, this has created the basic template or the basic shell where we are now going to install Windows Server 2016. Now, there's a couple of ways you can get this ISO onto this VM. You can actually have it compute, uh, downloaded onto your computer, onto your Windows installation. So we've got here Windows Server running and in my C drive, I've downloaded the ISO. The other thing you can do is you can actually copy it into a data store. So if I go into my data store view, you can see I've got a data store right here, this ready NAS data store. I can right click and go browse data store and I've got an ISOs folder. So what I can actually do is I can go upload and actually upload the ISO of this server 2016 directly into this ISOs folder on a data store. Okay, that's gonna perform a little bit quicker because it's it's on the source, it's in the, um, it's in the vCenter environment directly, but you don't have to do it that way. You can actually mount the, uh, the disk, the, the ISO directly from the VM itself. We're gonna do it that way for the purpose of this demonstration. So we're going to console, we can click this little button or you can just right click on it and say open console and we're gonna start it up. Now what's gonna happen now is by default, there is no 
ISO, so it's not going to really do anything. So we have to go and browse to that ISO. So I can click on this drive here and I can say connect to ISO on local disk, which will let me navigate to the ISO on my C drive, for example, on my computer. Or I can connect to the ISO on a data store directly. Alternatively, what you can do is you can right click on the VM edit. I can then go CD DVD and I can actually force that VM to connect to the ISO file directly. So I can navigate directly to my data store and select my ISO so that it mounts automatically when the VM is powered on. So there's a few ways to do it. So we're gonna go and navigate to that ISO and get it booted. So we are now loading Windows 2016. So we've got the ISO that is mounted and the actual machine itself is booting it up. So this ISO has been downloaded from the Microsoft website, which is a free download. And we've just booted it. And we're gonna run through the basic installation. So you can choose your language, the time and the currency, etc. We're gonna leave all that as default and say next, install now. And the installation is very, very straightforward. You just follow some simple prompts to get that installation happening. So from here, you can actually put in your product key directly. Now, the product key is obviously if you have registered your Windows Server 2016, so you can put that in right there, or you can say, I don't have a product key, and you can do it later on, okay? Now remember, if you say, I do not have a product key, it's gonna go into that evaluation mode, so you'll only be able to use it for a certain amount of time. At a later point, you can then go and register it, buy that key so that you can use it indefinitely. Now it's gonna ask me what version of Windows 2016 I want to install, the standard or the data center. So the standard, as, it's, as the name suggests, has some standard features. You've then got the desktop experience and the data center and the desktop experience. So the desktop experience is the one that you're gonna to wanna to pick. This is the one that has the GUI that's required um, and it's, it's the more prettier version of Windows Server 2016. So we're gonna go for the full, full blown data center desktop experience version. You'll notice that the architecture is 64 bit and click on next. You can read that terms and conditions, the license agreement, and if you accept it, you tick on the accept and next. We're then gonna select custom. You'll see that I've got a disk allocated on here, well, an un unallocated disk, sorry. You wanna select that disk and click on next. You can also create, you can also go new to create a new partition in that disk if you want to. Um, but for the purpose of this, we're just gonna select it on the unpartitioned disk and select next. The installation will now happen. It will take a little bit of time to run through. So we'll check back right after this has completed. So once the install is finished, you wanna put in your administrator password and then confirm it. and the install should now complete. So you can do control or delete and put in your password. It's gonna create a new user profile for yourself under that administrator. And you see that now we're running Windows Server 2016. The next step would be they go and install VMware tools, which is by going to the VM on the top, going guest, install VMware tools, we then get a prompt and what VMware Tools will let you do is it'll give you full compatibility or better compatibility between your VMware infrastructure and Windows Server 2016, the VM itself, so that you can actually have your mouse going between the two windows because you'll see that your mouse is probably stuck within here, which you can only release by pressing Control and Alt. 
Uh, it'll give you some you know, driver support and a few other nice pieces. So you can actually shut down the VM from the tools directly, from, from the VM uh, vSphere tools directly, um, rather than having to do it from the VM. All right, so you'll see that now in here. If you don't get a prompt, you can go into the um, Windows Explorer and you'll see that the VMware tools installer is just there. Just double click on it, install it. It's just a simple next, next, complete, and then reboot, and then you should be good to go. So if you found that video helpful, please like it and subscribe to my channel, Digital Byte Computing, just on the button there for more videos.